A ledger board is the piece of lumber that safely connects your deck to your home. So making sure it's installed securely is a top priority. To install it, first mark where the top of your ledger board will sit against the house. Then remove the siding in this area so you can tie the ledger board directly to the home's rim board, floor trusses, or wall studs. Never attach the ledger board over siding or a brick veneer as the weight of the deck is way too much for these materials, putting your deck at risk for collapse. The ledger board itself should be the same material as the rest of the deck frame, usually pressure treated wood. The ledger board should be at a minimum a 2x8 and always as deep as the deck's floor joists, if not bigger, so that it's strong enough to handle the load. Before installing the ledger board into place, there's one very important step, which is to waterproof the house's rim joist using a rubber membrane. This will keep any water running down the exterior from permeating the house. Temporarily attach the ledger board with framing nails. We'll be using 8-inch through bolts to permanently attach the board to the house after the rest of the side has been prepped. Next, mark the placement of where the floor joist will attach to the ledger board. Now you can permanently attach the ledger board. Every house and every process is going to work a little bit differently, but be sure to always check for any electrical, plumbing, or gas lines that may sit behind the ledger board. Bolt the boards to the house from the inside out. This way the nut is accessible on the outside to make it much easier to tighten down and maintain your deck. The last step is to add pre-bent roof flashing as additional protection against water penetration. Never nail the bottom part of the flashing as this could allow standing water to seep into the framing below. If you do have to seam two pieces together, make sure you overlap them. Without proper flashing behind and on top of the ledger board, you could be in for some serious water damage and an unsafe deck down the line. So don't skip this step. While getting the ledger board installed correctly is one of the more complicated steps of building a deck, having a safe outdoor space for friends and family to enjoy makes it well worth the effort.